morning my friends how are we doing it is no date is thursday so we have a roundabout take the first exit onto tala road n81 so we have got a sorry that's my sat now chatting because it is only half seven in the morning and i know what you're thinking orla where the hell are you going to have seven in the morning i don't start work till 10 but I happened to be driving the other day and I could feel, as you know, my car didn't feel like it was gripping much of the road. So I went over to a man I actually know. He's a mechanic. Um, he is from where my mum is living. So I've known him years. But um, I went over to him and said, look, any chance you could look at the tyres and the headlights because one of my headlights was gone and he was like you need four new tyres now I'm not surprised with the amount of mileage I do um, that I need new tyres so that's what I'm doing this morning I'm going over he's actually seen me at 8 o'clock this morning um, so I can be in work for 10 and then he's going to do an oil change my tyres right, my lights on Road. what else is he doing that's really it I think before new tyres anyway is going on. That's the important part and the oil change. Sorry, I know I look tired. I literally had to haul myself out of bed this morning. It was absolutely shocking. Um, and of course, you know when you know you have to get up the next morning early. I couldn't go to sleep because I kept thinking I'm going to have to sleep my alarm. But look, we're here anyway. So, um, yeah, so today is office day in work and we have holistics coming in. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that there's a cancellation and I can get my head done. That's, you know, that's just how we're living. We're rolling on the Thursdays now. But um, I need to do a food shop as well tonight. Because obviously with the girls up and Carl there and, you know, the everything we're just going through. Exit onto the M50 ramp to southbound. Um, we're going through, what you call it? a lot of food and you know last week I didn't do a huge shop so this week I really have to to up my game oh, excuse me. well Kerry is going down to um, my mum's so that's not too bad she's, not, she's actually looking forward to going in she said she says it'd be nice to go down but she's back up then to work sorry my hair is all over the place Kerry plotted it up for me that's what she did she plotted it up to keep it out of my way. So, um, yeah, we're heading down here. I don't know how much four tires, an oil change, and a couple of bulbs is gonna cost me. But, um, yeah, that's what we're getting done this morning. So, a bit of a, bit of a expensive start to the morning. But you look, it'll be safer, and especially now with the roads you know when you're getting those showers now and the roads are greasy so it'll just be nice to know with all the driving i'm doing that i have um that i have decent tires on my car because it's not as if i'm only driving around the city like i'm i do decent i do decent mileage like so we'll see we'll see Right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm Exit getting up to the M50. And your woman keeps shouting at me. But I am going the right way, but she just keeps shouting at me. I can't do people shouting at me, even if it is a computer. Oh my God, there's people walking on the motorway. Are these fucking serious? Oh, the Nora. Oh, I give up. People, sometimes I wonder, do they have a bloody debt with wish? Walking on a motorway. Oh, right, I'm going, I'm going. All right, guys, just dropped my car in to be fixed. And they've just rang to say there might be a delay. It is now, I don't know, nine o'clock. And I thought I'd be ready by about half nine because I'm due in work at 10. So I've just rang work to say that they were delayed fixing the car. So when I went in, they said they wouldn't be able to do the oil change today, but they'll do the four wheels and the bulbs. So we'll see. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be ready soon. I can get into work, get me Indian head massage, get home and then do a food shop. I mean, exciting lives we're living here. But at the moment, I am actually in Starbucks. 
I got a grand latte and I got a kids temp because kids temp means it's just drinkable and um, it's hot but drinkable and um, I find if they give me normal temp I have to sit there for 20 minutes looking at it waiting for it to cool down so I'm sitting here I do have my laptop with me so I might do some editing I might go inside I'm sitting outside at the moment trying to get fresh air into my lungs but um yeah I'm at the beacon quarter I think it is that's what it's called it's a bit dead there's um, all apartments and then shops underneath so oh, the children's museum is here I'll show you around hang on so this is it you've Bank of Ireland you've got a Duns over there you can see the children's museum is there but it's all apartments high-rise apartments this is the beacon quarter it's attached to the beacon hotel or hospital which is a private hospital in Dublin so I'd say this is another bit of revenue for them right I'm gonna go and drink this coffee and pray they ring me soon for my car. All right, guys, just collected my car. Um, it is now 20 to 11, and the machine broke that puts the wheels on, so they only managed to get two of the wheels done. So, what can I say? I'll have to go back, but um, I'm tired now because I've been sitting around. Oh, sat around drinking coffee. Not a great idea. Mind you, I did get some of my work done in my diary and stuff, so I have that filled out for April, which is something I'm normally doing on the fly, so happy out with that. But yeah, there's nothing much, um, trying to think, there's not much happening. I'm heading into work now, so I should be in work for 11, I'm hoping. So it means I'll only have to owe them back an hour. But I might just, I don't know. Oh, I might split an hour next Wednesday, go in a half an hour early. And then do a half an hour today, because I'm tired and I don't really want to be sitting in the office. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you are having a good day. So, and everything is going. You've got plans for the weekend, have you? I hope you have. I hope you do even, if it's only to sit on the couch and read a book. I'm trying to think what's happening this weekend. This weekend's Easter. Easter weekend. So, the girls obviously have to get them eggs, so I'll do that in my shop. They keep saying, don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about eggs. Uh, but I know if they get up on Christmas morning, or Christmas morning, oh my God, I am tired. On Easter morning, there was no eggs. They'd be, they'd be mighty disappointed. But um, Kerry's gone up to her doctor. She's getting her repeat bloods taken. So, um, hopefully her iron will have come up a bit and that'll be sorted out. She might have to stay on iron, but, um, yeah, hopefully that works out well for her. So she's up in Drada. So she's hoping to be back down by one-ish and I said, well, I should be finished around that time. So hopefully, um, take the next left onto Kilmacud Road, upper R826. In 800 metres, turn right to stay on Kilmacud Road, Upper, R826. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, so she's got her bloods. Haley got the results. Haley went for her MRI and her MRA. And she, we were sent the images. So she did send a copy to her father because he, someone in his building or a friend of his is a neurologist. Um and he was going to show them to get their sort of their opinion on it as well but they're hoping that they find nothing that there's no physical reasons why she's getting migraines that it's just purely she just gets migraines um in one way i'd love them to say yeah there's actually something wrong here and this is what it is um another way i sort of hoping they don't find anything because the brain is very scary you know so um yeah We'll see anyway, but yeah, so it's been all go here. Mummy had a little procedure Turn done. Turn right to stay on Kilmacud Road, Upper, R826. It's very rude, that woman, but I don't know where I'm going, so I'll be lost. Um, That woman, that woman, not that woman. Um, 
in 600 meters, at the roundabout, oh gosh, take the so first funny. exit onto Wickham Mom Way. Mom got a procedure done in Galway Hospital the other day. Um, it was, she had to go in and get the camera down her neck because the first guy stopped at her larynx and this guy, her new doctor, I suppose, wanted it all the way into the stomach. So while he was in there, he did take a little biopsy. Um, they don't really to worry about, but they just want to know why she has so much acid in her stomach. And the other thing they found was she has a hernia, which she knew, we, we knew that. But instead of it being a lateral, no, instead of it being a vert, vert, vertical, or, yeah, vertical, which is normally the way uh, ulcers go, she has a lateral one or a vertical one, which is more unusual. So he wanted to sort of, I don't know what he wanted to do with that or whether he just mentioned it for the sake of mentioning it. I've no idea. Anyway, that's a... Uh, Oh, excuse me. Lord, I swear I didn't sleep last night. I slept for seven hours. Oh my God. But, um, so he mentioned this hernia as well. Now he did say he would do up a report and send it to her doctor. So we'll see. We'll wait and see what happens with that. But yeah, it's been all medical appointments um, this week or last week. Late last week. I don't know. I don't know. I give up. My days are gone. I think it's also because I'm working Saturdays and Sundays where that used to be your marker of when the weekend was I don't have that marker and now it's Monday, Tuesday so I'm always off by days but this week I've had to work on Tuesday because I was covering for a girl who was in France and it's thrown me totally this week seems to have gone on forever because I don't work normally on a Tuesday so that's thrown me through a hoop because I just don't normally work on a Wednesday, on a Tuesday. So funny, it is funny, sort of, not really. Right, lads, I'm just sitting here waffling to you because I'm tired and I'm driving and I'm, who else do you talk to when you're in the car on your own if you're not talking to the camera? Exit the roundabout onto Wickham Way. Right, I'm gonna go because this woman's getting on my nerves. In 400 meters at the roundabout, take the third exit onto R826. Right, I'm going. I will talk to you in a bit, lads. All right, guys. So it is a week later, and I am on my way to bring the car over to get the final two wheels put on it. Put on it. I swear, it's going around two wheels. Um, I'm getting an oil change and I'm getting the lights fixed. Fingers crossed, because you know, last week I went over. I went over last Thursday, and they could only do two wheels because the machine broke. So I'm hoping this week they managed to get the other two on because I have a big drive tomorrow up to Donegal and then while I'm up there myself and Hayley are going up to Derry and then we go to Straban so we're going sort of in a bit of a day out for a birthday and we'll find somewhere to eat and we're going to have something to eat out um, it's her, we're celebrating her birthday today at home but it could be Monday is her actual birthday that's why I'm going up to Donegal so I wouldn't leave her in an apartment on her own for a birthday. So, going over, getting these tyres done. He did say to me, look, it'll be three to four hours by the time I do the oil change and all that malarkey. And I said, that's, that's fine, that's grand. Um, so I have options. I don't know whether to go to town or go to Dundrum. We'll figure it out. Right, lads, I will talk to you in a bit when I know what is happening with my car. All right, guys, so I decided to head into town because he said my car would be ready about half three. I don't know if you can hear me, it's so windy because obviously the storm Kathleen. So, but I'm getting the Lewis, as you can see, that's the Lewis lines there, and that way. So the car dealer dropped me down, so come to town with me, I suppose. We'll have a look and see what's happening.
before the cruise. Right guys, that's St. Stephen's Green Park over there where you feed the ducks. It's very well known. And down there is Grafton Street, but I'm actually going to go into Stephen's Green Shopping Centre, which if I can get a a um oh. Alright guys, that is the entrance into the park there. So everybody, it, it is a fabulous park, I don't think, because it's raining on and off. So I don't know if I'll get a chance to go in and have a look, but I might. And then down here, this is the Grafton Street. This is sort of the posh end of town, or what we would class as the posh end of town. But that's all your high streets, your high and brands are down there but i'm actually going to go into stephen's green shopping center which is this one here like a little i've not been in here for about 15 years so we'll go in and have a look all right guys i don't know when the last time i was in here about 15 years ago it hasn't changed look just looks older so i'm going to show you just looking up it's gorgeous at the um at Christmas and stuff so let me turn you around and I show you the interior of the shopping centre now it's very hard to see but down here that's actually a glass clock so there's loads of stores in here golden discs I was the, when LPs came out the first time around and VHS's and stuff then they all closed down because no one was buying them and here we are again they're all opening up again so I might have a look in there. There's a good few empty shops in here. But sure. We will have a nosy if I come across that and excite I will show you. Sorry, that's golden just there. See the squishmallows? Love squishmallows. Might have a look in there and see if there's any good um what you call it? LP is for Carl. So, Carol's gift store. I've only ever been in there when families come over from America. And I've gone in to have a look, but I might take a wander around, I think. Let's go in and see what they have. shot glasses so this is a source CF their jewellery looks amazing they're real statement pieces so I might go in and have a look but there's nobody in there so I won't be recording but look at those rings aren't they just fab bracelets Right, I'll go in and have a look and I don't think there'll be much I'll be recording in there. Because there'll be only me and somebody else. Look at that necklace. Can you see that there? Absolutely gorgeous. 71 euro. Absolutely stunning. Alright guys, I think I've decided to go and get something to eat and this is everything they have on offer so let's go get something to eat all right guys change my mind I'm not gonna go for something to eat in there Um, I'm gonna walk down I think a bit of Grafton Street the sun has come out and it's quiet and there's not many, too many shops in here, so I'm just 
just going to go down Grafton Street and see what we can find down there. Alright guys, so this is Grafton Street. You can see down there there's someone playing music. There's tours going on. That's where we came from up there. But um, there's always something happening on Grafton Street. Uh, what do you call it? Brent Thomas down there and it's starting to rain. What do I do? Right, I'm going to go and try and find somewhere to get a coffee. So I came out of Dublin, holy god it was packed. So I came home because I got a text to say my car was ready and I was about done. So it's about half three now and I've just collected up my car. It cost me the good to 400 euro. Um, I had an oil change, oil filter, and so I have four, two new tyres on it, the back ones because I've already done the front ones. And Oh, a daylight running bulb. So that's what we had have on. So yeah, sorry, I just have to use a jungling around the place. So I got two things in town for Haley. No, I didn't. I got one thing for Haley. I got her a lovely bracelet to match a necklace. I'm after getting her. So she wants me to give some of her present today because obviously with Kerry and stuff being there. So I'm going to give her her washing machine today and a packet of what you call it soap for the dishwasher. I haven't even got it. Oh. Right, I'm going to head up here. I'm heading home now. It's half three. I have to be up my evening client tonight at eight. So we will. Oh, God. Sure, I've never seen so many people in town and they all just seem to be standing around doing nothing. Like they weren't shopping, there's no like the shops are fairly empty. So it's just hordes and hordes and hordes of people. Anyway, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home and see what the kids have in store for us now.